Howdy ho neighbors. It's just I, Eclectic Marty, or Marty to my friends. You can call me Marty if you want to. So, today in my um, further learning software skills, I'm going to be making another video. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to alter these images. Um, these actually are vintage February 1960 National Geographic images. And I know a lot of my friends like to use mixed media. I personally love doing collage. Love it. Haven't had time to do it lately. Absolutely adore doing collage. So this is a good way um, to basically uh, make your own work, your own pictures, to modify them to use in your collage. Also, it's a good way to remove writing off the backs of magazine pages and things. If you've ever, you know, wanted to use a magazine page and it had, you know, two tons of writing on the back and you, you know, you saw through it or you wanted to use a certain kind of image um, that had writing beside it or something and you really wanted the image but you didn't want the writing on it, this is a good thing to do for that. Now, not every magazine works for this. You will have to kind of try it and see some of them do um, so basically let's get to it and show you what we need for this project so you're going to need this is really expensive stuff I hope you can afford it it's awesome cleaner it's from the dollar store you I've heard that you can use orange glue too this is not my idea I don't take credit for this at all I'm very thankful to YouTube creators for uh, all of their hard work and figuring all this stuff out. This is a borrowed idea. I just wanted to show you. So you're going to need that and you're going to need your handy dandy paper towels. It is quite messy. And you probably want to work in a well ventilated area. <clears throat> Pardon me. Unless, you know, I don't know, you might like the fumes, you know, the way my day's going. Who knows, right? So anyway, before I get started, my granddaughter fussed at me because I didn't give her a shout out. She's very into YouTube, and so this is for you, Miss Kaylee. I love you very much. Thanks for helping Grandma, and you're a wonderful little girl, and I'm so proud of you. So there's my shout out to my granddaughter, Kaylee. All right, so let's see, which one do we want to do first? I'm going to try the ladies first because it has writing on here. So what you want to do, and this 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 will make it look all vintagey, which is really awesome, <laughs> awesome cleaner, awesome vintage, right? Okay. So you spray the the goop on. I'm going to spray it all over. Now if you leave it on for a few minutes, it'll start pooling up and causing a like little slight splatter places. So you just want to leave it for a second, and then you want to gently start rubbing. Now I'm going back behind the ladies because I want the ladies in the foreground. But you see already what it's doing is lifting up that ink, all that print. Can you see it? I'll show it to you when I get through. So it's lifting all of the ink. Now you be careful because the pages get, you know, fragile when they're wet. So it's, it's just pulling up all of the old ink. I'm going to take a little bit of the color out. And you just do this until it looks right to you, basically. You see how it's looking old already? And you can do it as much as you'd like. I'm going to probably leave that, but let's go down here to this. I just want to show you the print. It's like magic. It's taking the print off. Look at that. It's wonderful stuff. And it's only a dollar. That will cost you at least 50 cents in tips. Alright, so can you just keep, keep spraying it? And they do make these in little refill bottles too, so you can just buy the pump one time and then just refill it. 
So that's just a couple of seconds here of messing with it. And look, the print's all gone. Now it's still wet, but the print's all gone. And then you see it's really just kind of taking away a lot of that ink. But let's you you can also do the back too. You know, if you're worried about you know the back shining through, like you know possibly this orange shining through. Let me just go ahead and take that. Now be extra careful because, like I said, the paper is very fragile. But it'll take it right on off. And that way it won't shine through. Say if you had an image on the other side that you wanted to use. Just keep wetting it, keep rubbing it. I just, I love this. When I first heard about this, see, I've torn my paper already. When I first heard about this, I thought it was just amazing. Because I've been looking for something to, you know, help me with my collage. But anyway, you can, uh, you know, tore the paper and everything, but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use that piece anyway. But I just wanted to show you how translucent that that is. I mean, you know, it's, it's, that orange is gone and it's not going to shine through. If, the, if you had a picture there that you wanted to use, it's gone. And you can keep messing with it as much as you like. But let's do another one. Alright, so here's the before. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's load her up. And I absolutely adore vintage National Geographics. You do have to be um, a little careful with National Geographic when you use them in your projects um, simply because of the copyright issues that they have. I don't think it's a big deal if you're using it in a personal journal, but just be aware that if you plan on selling images uh, or you know selling a journal, it might become an issue. They are kind of persnickety. So, and this one being in 1960, I mean, I don't... I don't know, you know, how long you would have to wait to be able to use a National Geographic image. I think it's like, is it like a hundred years or something? I can't remember um, for a copyright to drop off. I'm not really that great at that stuff either. I have to look it up every time. Okay, so see, it, it just took a lot of the color off and made it a lot more vintage looking. You see it? And then, of course, there's, you know, that on the back that I could take off if I wanted to. But let's do another one. Let's just move right along. So, let's do, let's do this one with the students. Let's see how vintage we can make this look. Because they, they look like they're having a good time. This one, I think I'm going to show you more of a speckle kind of effect on it, too. Just dabbing it here and there. And it will kind of speckle the, the image a little bit and make it... I mean, you can certainly play with it until you get something you like. It's, it's, it's a good afternoon of fun, I'm telling you. Whenever I get a minute, I like to do this. It's just mindless. <laughs> you don't have to work that hard. You don't have to measure anything. You just throw it down on the table, spray it, and go. Although, you know, it does give me bad flashbacks to housework, but <laughs> who cares? I avoid that like the plague anyway. So, <laughs> all right, <laughs> here you go. Here is that image, and you see how vintage it looks now. All right, let's do a couple more. Um, okay. This one is a mountain. I'm sorry I didn't show it to you. My bad. Oh, I really like this. This is pretty. Awesome, you are awesome. 
Makes you wonder what it does to your furniture, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it may not be so awesome on furniture. <laughs> okay, look how pretty that turned out. Look at that. See? I mean, it's just really, really vintagey, pretty. All right, and then I have this lady with the flowers. He's having a good old time there. Let's see. I'm just going to try to take out a little bit of the background. Hope you guys are doing all right today. My granddaughter overdid it last night watching Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> She's still cocked out. She makes me laugh. <laughs> She's nine, by the way. <laughs> She's just like, I'm out for the summer. I'm watching cartoons and nobody can stop me. So... Well, this one almost looks like a silvery color underneath this, I guess the toner or whatever. Let's see, isn't that pretty? And let's do uh, the top one up here. This mountain. Climb every mountain. Sorry, that was my... Chevy Chase Im imitation. That one looks silvery too, so let's have a lot of blue under duh. A lot of blue silver undertones here. <laughs> I graduated the fifth grade. I don't know how my friends put up with my sense of humor, I really don't. Anyway, here we go. So And so we have done several in just a couple of minutes. I mean, that's that easy. It is not, not hard at all. I mean, there you go. You can cut these up, use them for whatever. It is yours to toy with. And like I said, it doesn't work on every single magazine, so you have to kind of play around with it and see what does work. But I have found, if you get your hands on some old National Geographics. They work great. Um, actually, I just happen to have this on my desk. Now, this is old as the hills, but I made this journal cover out of those images. I found this hummingbird. It reminded me of my father, and so um, he's, he's gone now. So I made a, a little journal cover out of it, just a little soft journal to keep my addresses and stuff in. So anyway, that's that for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I will not massacre this when I edit it. Please bear with me. I'm working on this stuff. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.